remember when I was a kid and I was in the stands and I was speechless then and I'm still speechless now. You were the youngest Liverpool player ever to play in the Champions League final. <laughs> At the time, maybe just brush it aside by myself um, because I, I wanted to focus on doing well and, and that. But I think when you've got time, like in the summer, when, when, when you can relax and, and take it all in, I think that's when you realise it is something that I'm really proud of. And obviously, five Champions League trophies, hopefully, like I said, there'll be, there'll be more than, than games to be able to play in. Talk us how you began playing football, like on the streets with your mates or? Yeah, it's probably and just wanting to play at all times, and then obviously you play Sunday league football, and then from there it's you go into academies, and then from there it takes you where where you want to be. About how old were you when you started to think I could be able to make this as a professional player? Um, say about f fourteen, thirteen, fourteen is when I realised that a bit of um, education had to be sacrificed. It was miss some lessons to go to training, miss afternoons, which was something that was difficult for me and my family because we were so focused on, on, on getting good results in, in exams and that. But I think it's good that, that I had the support and the backing of, of me, me, me parents, especially to to have the faith in me to, to, to hopefully see my dreams come true. And, and, and obviously that's something that I'm really thankful for because um, some parents could have said, no, it's... It's not possible. You have to you have to focus on school first and foremost. But we came up with a with a plan to to catch up on our schoolwork. Maybe do extra homework or stay in some long times and big times to to catch up. Um, but that was it was all worth it for the sacrifices. How did you come to sign for Liverpool then? When did you know they were interested and how quick did that go through? Um, well, I became a, a, a an academy player when I was about six, five, six, and. I think when you're eight and nine, that's when they offer you your first contract, and then yeah, from then on, I've been a Liverpool player. Were you a Liverpool fan as a youngster? Yeah, yeah, I always supported Liverpool, and the whole family did. So who were your Premier League heroes? Were they all Liverpool players, or? Yeah, players? yeah, I'd say uh, Gerard, Carragher, Alonso, Torres when I was growing up, and I think probably the the, the main one who were the Liverpool players probably um, Henri because he, he used to do things that, that, that not many other players could do, so it was, it was something that really excited a, a young player to see him um, and what he could do with the ball. Yeah, you were the youngest football player ever to play in the Champions League final. <laughs> does, does the gravity of that kind of strike home to you, or is it just something you might think about at a later point and you just get on with your work? Um, I'd say at the time, definitely something that was probably maybe just brush it aside by myself um, because I, I wanted to focus on um, doing well and, and that. But I think when you've got time, like in the summer, when, when, you, when you can relax and, and take it all in, I think that's when you realise how, how much of a big deal it is because of the such history of the club, especially um, 126 years and obviously five um, Champions League trophies. So it, it is something that I'm really proud of and... And um, hopefully, like I said, there'll be there'll be more than than games to be able to play in. From the outside looking in, it seems like Jurgen has injected a lot of confidence into the players and um, really kind of encouraged you how to play how you love to play. Is that a big deal when you're going out on the pitch? Yeah, definitely. I think you've got to enjoy enjoy your football. I think your your best games, your best performances come when you when you're enjoying it and you you're loving it. You're you're playing with a smile on your face, and that's something that he he, he tries to tries to instill in everyone is that happiness about football and not taking it too seriously. I think he knows when to when to keep it very serious and when to to maybe let our hair down a little bit and and, and enjoy it, which is the, the the main thing. Yeah, a lot is said about Anfield and the lights and Champions League night. Can you put into words quite how it feels to be in the middle of that kind of atmosphere? Um Nah, it's, it's, it's very tough to be able to describe it. You know, I remember when I was a kid and I was in the, the, the stands and I was speechless then and I'm still speechless now. It, it's tough because not many people will experience it, but you feel so lucky and, and so privileged to be able to, to play in them special games and to be a part of, of such an amazing club and such an amazing um, atmosphere and that, them sort of nights is, is incredible. Yeah.